Hey, welcome back to the Orminators. This is Chris Orr of the Orminators, and this is a an episode of uh, Overland Noob. So, in my previous video, I talked about the fact that Kaylee the Jeep is no more. So we're back to uh, Jeep, given the fact that she, she was a 2021 and broke down three times in two years. Actually, broke down three times in less than a year from the transmission problems from last year and then the two major problems just in the last couple months. So I had this old work truck, really not that old, a 1999 Dodge Dakota Sport. It's got the uh, 5.9 liter V8 Magnum engine. Um, bought her last year as a work truck and been using her around the property to haul stuff around, trees, dirt, rocks, stuff like that. And realized, well, four-wheel drive, it's got almost, well, pretty much got everything I need. All I needed to do was make it street-worthy. So, had some new sh tires put on there, the front end uh, rebuilt and aligned, some KYB shocks. And uh, just got her back from uh, some friends of mine down in Granite Falls, J&K Automotive, if you weren't familiar with them. They uh, rebuilt the rear diff for me, gave her a tune-up, as well as uh, got the air conditioning working. So now she's pretty much street-worthy, street-legal. So I can drive pretty much down the road and not have to worry about it anymore. So now comes the fun stuff. Back here, where the tonu cover is, I'm going to be putting a heavy metal off-road uh, bed rack. I just bought it from uh, Heavy Metal Off-Road. Um, they're based in Idaho. We're going to be installing that over the next few days for our last trip. Uh, put the GFC rooftop tent on there and see how she does on a an extended off overlanding excursion, if you will. So this is going to be the new project for the next year. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, keep you up to date. Meet you all at uh, Overland Expo Pacific Northwest next year. Maybe I'll get a spot at the uh, DIY. So... The next video will be me installing that uh, that bed rack. I've already got little stuff going on already. Um, <laughs> the bullet point mount. They don't make them for the uh, Dodge Dakota. Actually, I I took the one out of out of Kaylee the Jeep, uh, flattened out a couple of pieces, and actually just used the uh, automotive tape and the uh, couple of screws to mount her into the dash there. Let's see how well that holds up. Super janky DIY. Very much. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> other little crap like that. The only thing that I didn't cheap out on was getting the uh, the safety stuff done, right? Tire shocks, front end, differential. Don't want it blowing up on me as I drive down the road on, the, on my way to the trailhead or to fall apart on the trailhead. So that's it. That's, uh, that's the truck that I will be overland building from this point moving forward. Looking forward to uh, seeing what we can get out of this. Some other projects replace that janky front bumper where it's the original bumper with some rando brush guard bolted onto the thing. <laughs> I wouldn't trust that to to um, stop brush or move a cow aside in uh, in any uh, in any way, shape, or form. So uh, yeah, this will be fun. I'm thinking of some new names now. My girlfriend, because she's a big fan of of Breaking Bad, and because it's a white Dodge Dakota, wanted to call it Walter, as in Walter White, which is actually kind of funny. So, but for me, it's a '99 Dodge Dakota, and my favorite TV show is Brooklyn Nine Nine. So I, I just kind of want to call it the Nine Nine. So we'll see. Give me a give me some comments down below, and let me know what you guys think. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.